hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to undergo the cpu to get best performance out of it and stable temperatures okay so many people are facing the higher temps issue in their laptops and mainly in the this msi which the unit i'm using is msi gl65 like people are not people but their laptop cpu is hitting around 95 degree plus temps and which is really bad in starting like i was also getting the same temperatures like 95 plus every time even like using even after cooling uh, using cooling pad i was still getting a lot higher temperatures okay so these settings will definitely work for i7 9750h and uh, this also because i'm using this i7 10750h okay so the step you have to follow i'm gonna show you in this video but guys be careful and watch this video till the end so you will get like full information like how you can do this to your system and get best result out from your cpu so before getting into the video i'm gonna show you like i'm gonna tell you two things there are the cpu as i've already told you is i7 10750h that i'm using an i7 9th gen okay the 9750h there is just like a little difference which is i7 sorry the 10th gen can hold up to 4.3 gigahertz while gaming it's on a maximum clock and the 9750h can go maximum up to 4.1 but uh, with like a little effort but and 4 gigahertz on i7 9th gen will be good and that's stock that uh, like i already see many benchmarks on youtube so the i7 9th gen can easily get 4 gigahertz clock speed okay uh, during games and that's what we need so I'm gonna tell you guys if you are using like i7 10th gen and you like lower down the clocks like uh, 0.100 megahertz or 0.200 and you're getting around 4.1 gigahertz still in games i think that's pretty much enough to play games without any problem and you're gonna get the temperatures also controlled and oh well okay so now i'm gonna show you the step i have done for this so i've used the two profiles right here so first one is game which is the second option and the second one is which is the first option is performance okay so i'm going to talk about first of all the game this is the mode which i use while i wanted to re record games and uh, also do like uh, try to max maximum like you know maximize every graphics and everything else i want best maximum performance out of from, from my cpu then i use this option which is game mode because there are some things that i'm going to tell you which are a little different but they make big difference now what you have to do here set multiplier and clock module 100 percent these two things doesn't matter if you can see right here if you check this uncheck this doesn't matter but i just check for my like you know personal satisfaction like 50 tiers or 5 gigahertz turbo and here speed shift epp you should definitely like put it to zero zero means that your cpu will try to hit like maximize your clock speed okay that's why speed shift is using and bd pro shot you definitely should have checked this otherwise when other components will become hotter your cpu will not throttle and you will not know like there is some issues going on and your chassis will become a lot hotter okay now speed step you should have checked this and c1e is also you should check this now here now if you go to option you can see right here is ac profile and battery profile okay you definitely wanna uh, to plug in the charger when you wanted to play a game otherwise your gpu will not work because that need a lot of power and a battery can't provide okay so you have to check ac profile and click okay so when you like turn on your laptop and if you wanted to play a game put like plug in your power adapter and when you open the throttle stop and this will definitely move to this profile which you have to which you already set to here to ac profile mode okay now it's already set here now the next step we have to do is go to fivr and uh, let me talk about tpl like look, many people do some changes on tpl right here also and here max profile here also and uh, a little here but i didn't uh, like did anything and everything working fine for me okay so nothing it's all for stock and here now go to fivr and here comes the main work so as as you can see right here i already select here profile number two so make sure you are like using here also the profile number two and also the second profile uh, make sure that is also selected here otherwise you're gonna 
select here different profile and gonna make changes here on different profiles so that can like maybe a little and cause a little problem to you okay now first of all in stock you will see that there will not, nothing here like this and this will be like this as it is okay and unlock adjustable voltages as you can see you have to click here and for me this these settings you know i've already told you because this is the game profile and this is the this is the profile like which gives me the best possible performance are from my cpu and i am also good with the temperatures okay they are like hitting around 80 82 like i'd be good with up to 85 degree but these are still enough like in many games i'm only like under 78 degree like 75 74 and which are pretty fine for me so what i've done here for the value and processor i'm running i7 10750h as you already know and the offset value voltages sorry i have set it to minus 105 some people told me to like set it to 100 but that were not working for me well okay because on if i set these to like 100 and uh, like my temps are like completely moving towards the 85 and 85 degree plus which i really don't want it to be be okay so i set it to like 105 110 was also fine for me but uh, the perfect that i found the balance here is 105 so what if you found the value which is perfect suit to you and uh, your need okay so 105.5 and you have to do same thing right here in the cpu catch okay 105.5 as the same and you do not have to you do not have to mess here with these numbers okay so set them as stock and here check also this okay say voltage immediately and hit apply and then okay so now i've completed the step with in which i'm i'm still getting like perfect temperatures i'm gonna also give you the performance and temps difference with both these profiles uh, in the end of the video so please watch that too so you have an idea like uh, how much difference they will make now comes to the performance mode i choose this profile for the performance is already also there i choose this because in this i have like lower down the clock speed to 4.1 gigahertz and uh, also a little more under volting because i when i wanted to like do not want to play any game like the esports like warzone or maybe pubg because they are multi multiplayer games and we need like maximum performance so i use game mode when i wanted to play those games and also record and when i wanted to like far cry assassin creed and uh, you know the witcher 3 these kind of games these are don't need like you know maximum performance out of it if you and i don't like crank every time ultra setting in the game to because i love fps instead of the visual quality i'm not telling that i don't want a visual quality but still i need a piece like at least 90 to 100 that my speed spot personally so in performance mode what i did is these are all same setting which i've done speed ship epp to zero and uh, these are doesn't matter if you set multiplier and clock module 200 and here if you check them or not and bd pro shot make sure they checked speed step and c1e these three things need to be checked now we move to fivr and for the option same you can select the battery ac power profile which is pretty good and a tpl as you can see right here i haven't changed anything now go to fivr and this is the profile where uh, you can get uh, like good amount of performance like at least 99 percent to your main profile as i've said if you uh, wanted to make two profiles like me okay so is here as you can see it's first profile already selected and here you can see the my the offset voltage value is minus 125 here as you can see because i lower down the clocks here to 4.1 gigahertz because if i lower down the clock speed that obviously mean processor don't need that much of power supply so we can like drop down the voltage a lot more than the normal one okay so that's why in the like main profile i have here as you can see i have like lower down this to 105 and here like 125 and the clock speed to 4.1 gigahertz you only had to lower these clocks from here first option okay core one you have to use only first core to lower down these will get automatically down okay do not do like like 4.5 here 
4.9 okay 5 okay don't change this like randomly that can cause a little problem so these are uh, the things uh, i have done in the settings and uh, this is it now i'm going to show you the performance difference which uh, makes these profiles and definitely seriously guys like 4.1 gigahertz and 4.3 like will not make that much of huge difference that will really gonna be noticeable by any individual person okay until you don't show them like charts and proper the you know one percent low or everything else so these are the settings that i have done for this and uh, now i'm gonna show you the game benchmarks and the temps you're gonna see by yourself first of all i'm gonna try the game profile right here in the game and after that i'm gonna move to the performance mode which is this one okay so for the game mode now let's go to the game but uh, before moving to this section guys please guys please support the channel because i need your support like without your support i can't do anything like seriously there are thousands of people like watching my videos daily but i'm not even getting 10 percent of the subscribers so i hope guys if you find this video a little bit helpful of sub would be amazing so here my main video is ended now i'm gonna show you the benchmarks and uh, i will catch you in the next one take care for now I wonder if you deserve the gift.